Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, we're talking about parrot tongues. Now that might seem like a really random video choice, but parrot tongues are actually really interesting. So I thought we would discuss them today so you can learn a little bit more about parrot anatomy. A parrot's tongue has around five kind of functions that are all grouped loosely together. So the first one is to actually break apart objects. We've probably all seen our birds breaking open nuts or just playing with their toys. And they use that tongue to break these things apart. They also use their tongue to hold objects steady while they're manipulating them. And we'll talk a little bit about why that's possible later in the video. Now the tongue, like with many animals, is also used to help with feeding, especially in certain species like lorikeets as well. But you may, again, you may have seen your bird manipulating foods with their tongues. The tongue also helps to move that food to the back of the throat in order to swallow, because they don't chew like we do. Uh, so they use that tongue to help to move that food around their mouth. And the final thing that the tongue is quite useful for, which I found very interesting as well, is to actually help with mimicry. Now, birds don't talk in the same way that we do. They don't even have the same kind of anatomy in order for that to happen. However, there have been recent studies that suggest that they do move their tongues like we do to say certain vowels. Uh, and I think that's really interesting. So um, I'll leave a link to the study down below or an article um, so you can have a look at that as well. So let's get into the actual anatomy of a parrot's tongue. It's actually made up of five bones, again, which is quite interesting, having a bony tongue. And those five bones come together to make what's called the hyoid apparatus. Um, and this actually has a Y-shaped bone at the right at the very end of your parrot's tongue. Now, why is this useful? It actually makes their tongue kind of what we call prehensile, able to grip. Um, some people say it's kind of like a little hand, other people refer to the tongue as like a thumb, um, but it does allow birds to really manipulate objects, move them around in their environment, but also that Y shape at the end of the tongue allows birds to kind of rest um, an object there because there's more surface area while they are playing around with it and seeing what they want to do with it. Now, unlike other animals, us for example, um, a parrot's tongue is actually dry. And the reason for this is because they use it for so much manipulation. If they had a sticky, kind of wet, gross tongue, it may make objects stick to it and then they wouldn't be able to move them around and explore them um, and that kind of thing. So that's why their tongue is actually quite dry. So if your parrot's ever licked you, I know the cockatiels are quite licky, which is quite funny. It's kind of a dry lick, which is quite interesting, I think. Now saying that, parrots do have some saliva glands, they're typically on the kind of roof of the mouth, back of the tongue, back of the throat, that kind of thing. But your bird shouldn't be having a lot of saliva in their mouth in general. So if you see that, it's probably worth a vet visit. Now other than wanting to keep things dry so they can actually hold them in place in their mouth, the other reason why parrots don't have saliva is because they don't need to chew like we do. We have to chew and chew and chew to break down food in order to swallow it. However, with parrots, they just break off a piece with their beak and then they just swallow it whole like that with the whole piece. They don't chew it, they haven't got teeth like we do, which is why they don't really need lots of saliva in their mouth. Now, if you've ever wondered how well your bird can taste and what kind of things they can taste, it's not quite as good a sense as ours. So humans typically have about 10,000 taste buds, whereas parrots only have around 400, which is quite a big difference. But saying that, parrots have one of the most amounts of taste buds in all of the bird world. They have lots of taste buds compared to other species. And typically they can taste kind of sweet things and bitter things as well. And they have more taste buds because they typically come into um, contact with different foods that could be toxic. So things they want to avoid. And of course, if you have a little taste of something that's toxic, they're probably going to be like, oh, I don't want to eat that and throw it away. But for pickles here, I think most of her taste buds are probably the sweet ones because she is a real sweet bee, aren't you? Now, not only are parrot tongues interesting because of their anatomy, they're also interesting because of how they look in different species. So typically your bird's tongue is going to be the same colour as their beak. So Pickles has a pink tongue and she has a pink beak, whereas Scampi has a black tongue and he has a black beak. But there are a few exceptions to this where things are a little bit different. So for palm cockatoos, they actually have a bright red tongue which matches those patches on their face, which is really cool. But the one that I like the most is from the hyacinth macaw and they have a black tongue with a big yellow stripe down either side. Again, kind of like those yellow uh, patches on their face, which is really unique. And I didn't actually know that before I started researching for this video. 
Now the other cool parrot tongue is of lorikeets and lorries. Because their diet is typically nectar and pollen, they have these little bristles at the end that they use when they're licking those flowers to kind of soak up as much of that nectar and pollen as they can in order to eat it. So that's really cool as well. And it's just one of the amazing things about these fantastic little creatures. So that does bring me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of little mini anatomy lesson. If you'd like me to talk about other parrot body parts, then do let me know. I've got other videos like this about how to care for your birds, beak, feet, feathers and their respiratory system. So if you haven't seen those already, make sure you check out my Parrot Health playlist. I have cards and links everywhere in the description and up top as well, because they're very interesting in my opinion, <laughs> aren't they Pickles? But thank you so much for watching and thank you for your continued support here on the channel. But from me and Pickles P, thanks for watching, take care and see you later.